What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Flippin' Soup guys coming back with another clip today. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, this video I'm going to talk about some of the perks and some of the disadvantages of reselling on eBay. Um, and let's start out with some of the disadvantages. I know that might be a little discouraging to some people starting off with um, some of the disadvantages, but um, number one, you got to learn who you are as a person. You got to you got to be honest with yourself. I don't think that's a disadvantage, but you do got to be honest with yourself and ask yourself, are you going to be able to be dependable every single day um, to resell on eBay, especially in the beginning, guys? Um, and even further along in your business, the bigger you get, the more you're putting into it, right? So I would say being honest with yourself, guys. And ask yourself, are you going to be able to be, even when you don't want to do it, are you going to be disciplined enough to put in the work that needs to be done to uh, keep your business running fluently? We just got over a thousand items in the store. It's the biggest store I've had yet. And I know that's very small um, on the map of resellers. But it's a milestone. I hit a thousand items. It's a milestone for us. And the crazy part is, is I sold more, I, for some reason my sales dipped a little bit. And I, I, don't, I don't know what it is. I'm working on it, trying to figure it out. But I'm doing the same thing, just listing more items. Um, so I, I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, let's stay on track. Um, another thing is, is it kind of correlates with what we just talked about. But asking yourself, are you going to be able to set yourself up a schedule? Um, another disadvantage is nobody's going to pay you. Like, if you don't put in the work, you're not going to get paid, right? eBay is not going to give you the traffic that um, is going to get you a nice paycheck every single week or every single day, however you de however you decide to set up your account, um, if you're not putting in any work. It, it, eBay knows when you're on their platform, and eBay knows when you're listing. eBay knows when you're consistent. eBay knows when you're not consistent. Um, that is one of the... But let's jump now into some of the advantages of reselling guys on eBay. Um, number one, you get to be your own boss. Everybody thinks that's the greatest thing in the world until you become your own boss. And then when you try to find work-life balance um, with becoming your own boss, um, I've learned throughout the past three years, if you want to become great at something, you almost got to become obsessed. You almost got to become obsessed with what you're doing. If not, you're going to lose interest, right? So one, you get to be your own boss. I see that now as an advantage because one, I've learned a lot about who I was and who I'm turning into as an individual. I learned that number one, I was a big time procrastinator. I was, uh, I wasn't very dependable, uh, and quite a few other things I've learned. But, but what I've been able to do is pinpoint them things out and work on them and change that around within myself as a personal individual. So, um, one is you get to be your own boss. Two, you get the sky is the limit for opportunity for you. It is. eBay is a platform that will pay you as much work as you put in. You go you go to your regular basic 9 to 5 job, guys, and they're going to pay you what they believe you're worth, and you're not going to go much above that. Some people tell me, oh, you're full of shit. I started out at 15. I'm now making 30. Right? Which is okay. That's great. That's great. If that's what you want to do is work for somebody else, make somebody else rich, do it, right? Um, I don't knock anybody that works a nine to five period whatsoever. I've did it for 25 years of my life, guys. What I'm saying is you're going to hit a cap point somewhere. And most people, most people that are making $25, $35 an hour are actually, it, most people in general in the United States are living off uh, credit based and in debt. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. If you're using debt to grow, that's awesome. If you're using debt to show off to the Joneses down the road that you got a brand new Chevy pickup truck, that's stupid. Don't spend money you don't have. Like that's that's really that's just my opinion, but it's stupid. Don't do that, right? Now, if you want to take a business loan out for five thousand, six thousand, ten thousand, whatever, and you're going to invest it back into supplies so you can stay consistent and your business can run consistent, then I would I would encourage you to do so. But don't take a loan out to buy something flashy and shiny. That's stupid. Now you're just in debt for now. You're now you're going to go backwards for the next two years. That don't make no sense to me. But the majority of the people that are living in the United States do that. Um, so another benefit is. You get to watch yourself grow. 
you get to enjoy watching yourself start out with your first item, your first sale, up into selling over a thousand items or 500 items or wherever you're at or a hundred thousand items. Um, you get to watch yourself transform into an actual business owner. And one tip I want to say is in the beginning, guys, you're going to feel like kind of like an imposter. Like when I first started making these videos, I almost felt like an imposter. Like I'm not all the way there yet. Maybe I shouldn't be making the videos. Maybe, maybe you know, once I make $100,000 a year, I should start making the videos. But that's untrue. You're going to feel like an imposter, but everybody starts small. Everybody starts somewhere you, you somewhere small, and you are not an imposter. You guys, you're not. Don't, because I've thought that numerous times through reselling. Like, I'm just trying to be one of these guys. I'm never going to get there. Don't have that mindset because you won't get far, guys. I promise you that. If you have, if you have the mindset that you're just an imposter and you're imposing on something that's never going to come true to you, then it's never going to come true to you. You have to actually believe that you can get to the next level in order to get to the next level. What's the next level? It varies. Huge, guys. That, that... The level of variation of growth is so big, I can't even really touch on any of it because your, what your level of growth is, is different than mine. Where you're at in your business is different than mine. If, you, if your business has a green arrow pointing up and it says 0.5% growth, you're growing. You don't have to be at 50% growth since last month or 100% growth since last month. You don't have to be there as long as you are growing and as long as you are pushing your boundaries. I'm not telling yourself to push yourself so much that you crumble because I've tried doing that too and it don't work. But as long as this month you are listing more items than you did last month, you are in the growth process and transformation is going to start happening. What comes with growth? Failure, guys. You've heard me talk quite a bit about failure and reselling. And the reason being is because so many people are discouraged of failure. That's why most people don't ever get up off the ground is because they, they're worrying about everything that can go wrong before they even start implementing anything into their business. So they just decide not to do it. Very bad decision. Just get started and know you're going to have failures. Look, you know, actually... If this is the way I look at it, if I'm making failures within my business, that means I'm trying hard. If you're staying comfortable, that's not growth, guys. That's not growth. That's what most people do in life. They get a salary and they stay comfortable on that and they live uh, on that salary and they stay comfortable and that's why they don't grow. They get a high school education and they never educate themselves anywhere beyond then. They think they got it all figured out and that's just the way it is. The reason I say that is because I felt like that for many years. What I didn't know is I was ignorant to a lot of different things in life that there's not a person walking the face of this earth that can't be a master reseller on eBay within the next five to ten years. Are you willing to put in five years on? Are you willing? I'm having a day right now that I don't want to do anything. I really don't. I don't. I, I honestly, God, I want to go out, walk around. I want to lay down and watch TV. I want to um, be a big lazy ass. Is what I really want to be right now. But I know I cannot do that. So every day you wake up, you got to ask yourself: Are you going to be motivated? You, if, if you're honest with yourself, you're going to have to answer no to that. You're not going to be motivated every single day, but you can find a way to get motivated. Whether it's watching one of these videos, whether it's watching somebody else that makes videos similar to this, whether it's watching some, uh, somebody that ain't even talking about reselling, they're just talking about motivation throughout life. Motivation works for some people. Motivation don't work for other people. I will tell you this, though. If you are working for a company and they have a prep meeting, like once a week, or they call it a prep meeting, um, once a week, what they get out of that, and the reason they do that is to get more productivity. Why? Because they're building the people up in their company. They're making them, that they, they, you feel that you're valued when you're being told you're valued, so your productivity goes up. And guess what happens? Their sales go up, right? Um, if you're not finding a way to self-talk to yourself and let yourself know that you are growing and you're going to continue to go and you're going to continue to grow and you're going to continue to grow, then you're not going to get too far. That's with anything in life, though, guys. But reselling, you're not going to feel like it every day. I got 100 items I got to package up today and put my inventory system. I do not want to do it even before I start lifting. I don't want to do it, but I, I have to do it. I have to do it. I got to find a way to do it, turn on some music. 
block everything else out in my mind, get myself here in the moment, and go to work. That's all it really takes. All it really takes to become successful in reselling on eBay is to get focused in and zeroed in on what you're doing and actually show up every day. You show up for a company probably right now, 40 hours out of the week, and you're making them filthy rich, and they're paying you nickels and dimes. That's the truth behind it. I don't care if you're making 100K a year. If you're making 100K a year, that company's making 100 million a year because they're paying how many other employees to be able to do that. Think about it. Think about what I'm saying. If you're making 100K a year, imagine what you're making that company on your eight hour shift or your 10 hour shift or whatever it might be. Think about that. If you were putting that exact same time dedicated into yourself in your own reselling business right here on eBay, then guess what would happen? Within the next couple of few years, you would never even think about ever working for somebody ever again in your entire life. That's where my mindset's at right now. There is no way. I seen the potential. I'm reaping some of the rewards right now. There is no way Unless somebody comes up to me and says, I'll pay you a million dollars a year. And then I'll steal when I get home and work on eBay. So, that's the only way. Unless somebody was to offer me a million dollars a year, then no, I am not working for nobody. Um, and that's not being greedy. That's not being stingy, right? If everything failed and eBay took a crash and nobody else could ever resell again on eBay, then I'd find another platform, right? I'd, find it, I'd convert every... I would relist every single item that I have on my inventory, the 1,020 items I have up right now, and relist it completely on another, probably Facebook Marketplace or something, right? Uh, I would figure something else out. Or Poshmark, something, I'd figure it out. Um, but, I, but once you become self-employed, you start realizing the power of your paycheck is within the power of you. You have the potential to create 100K a year reselling. You have that potential to do so. But you're going to learn a lot of things about yourself. And a lot of people don't want to know a whole bunch about themselves or admit to themselves their downfalls in life, right? Most people don't want to do that. So they won't, and they won't analyze themselves. You, you know, they won't analyze themselves and be like, I'm a procrastinator. I had to sit there and look in the mirror and tell myself, Justin, you've been a procrastinator all your life. It's time to get to work. You procrastinated long enough for this point. To the end of your life, you will no longer procrastinate. Somebody, something needs to get done, it needs to get done, do it. Don't do it tomorrow. Don't do it two hours from now. Do the five-second rule, five, four, three, two, one, and just do it. Don't think about it, just do it. There's a lot of benefits to reselling on eBay, guys. When my parents were growing up, there was no such thing as, uh, here's an opportunity, you can work right from your own home and make six figures a year if you want. Or expand it all the way up to your own warehouse and make it millions of dollars a year. There was, it, that, that was not an option. Here's the thing is, guys. Today, it's day and age, you have in your hand, what you're watching this probably with, a multi-million dollar device that you could use to make the rest of your life very great. People don't get that opportunity. They take it for granted. It's just a cell phone. It's just a cell phone. I'm not going to put no work into it. I'm not... He's just talking some shit, right? Why would I just do that? Why would I waste why would I waste 15, 20 minutes on it every single day making videos like this to try to encourage you guys to get up off the grown ground and reselling or keep going? If it was just to waste my time. Right? I'm I, I, I'm not just trying to waste my time. I'm trying to encourage you guys that it is possible for you. 